In this video, we're going to talk just very briefly about the uh, Span Head Guy Analysis Helper. And what this tool does is very simply allow you to create the other end of a Span Head Guy and perform analysis on the resulting pole. So here we have a situation where I have a Span Head Guy, a uh, simple dead end pole. And what I want to know is uh, what kind of forces are on the pole on the other end. Um, so what I can do is take any pole, and I'll just use, just because I'm lazy, the same pole here, and take it and drag it on top of the anchor, and it will say, "Do you, I want to make a stub pole as another version in this PPLX file. And you'll see what it has created is um, a pole with the same characteristics as this pole that goes in the opposite directions. It has transferred the tensions from the original analysis into the span of head guys instead of the static, and it has performed the auto guy operation and put place down guys here on on that pole. Now you can adjust how that behaves. So this just happens to be the default uh, down guy uh, mode that I have. If you go under here and you go under your stub pole options, you can control whether that um, uh, auto guying operation is in fact enabled or not, but I happen to have it turned on. So as a result, very quickly, I have added another version to my existing PPLX file. Now if we go back and say um, set this as the active version, we will recall that the um, stub pole went off in the 180 degree position relative to the original, and um, if we went ahead and looked at our various tensions that we would see, assuming we had the right mode turned on. So we want component load information, and we see, okay, well here's the amount of tension that was applied. Current tension is 1,700 pounds. Now if we, and maximum tension applied was 1828.6. Uh, if we go then and look at the resulting pole, you see it's reversed, so it's uh, at the it's got its to pull the its other end at the 90 degree position. So the marker represents what was our original pole that was guide, and we go here and we say, okay, again, it's got 1800 uh, and 20 some odd pounds of tension applied. So it transferred the tension and set the mode to static, so that regardless of wind angle, it would be applied that way. And now I have a worst case analysis on my down guys. So this is a very helpful way to quickly create uh, stub poles for analysis in a span head guy guying situation.